Hi everyone and welcome back to another video of Kiwi Investments. In my last video, I took you through the sign up process for the Tiger Brokers platform. And in this video, I will show you how to use Tiger Brokers. And I will go through everything you see here. At the time of making this video, there aren't that many videos out there that show you how to use this app, especially with real money. So please do like and subscribe to the channel to support original content. Okay, the first thing we had to do is deposit money. And you do that through Tiger Brokers website. Once you sign in through the website, click on deposit then select the currency you have i am depositing new zealand dollars so i'm gonna click on deposit with nzd now when you deposit money it has to come from a bank account with the same name as the one you use to sign up to tiger brokers as you can see here please transfer funds from a bank account in the same name and this is my name all right one thing about this page is that you can easily right click on your mouse to copy the information and i am already signed into my bank here so i'm just going to go and paste it now for the bank account. Okay, let's come back and click on it to copy it. Come back and paste. You can just do Ctrl V. I'm just showing you. I'm going to save this and the amount I want to invest is two grand. Now for the reference, I'm going to go back and copy it and I'll paste it here. Now this part would be blurred out, but I'm putting my unique number under the code and my name as reference. Actually, I'm going to transfer only 1000 for now and I will deposit more money later just because I want to show you guys something. Go continue and confirm. Now this is the part most of you would find weird. We have to download the confirmation and send it to them in order for them to check for the money. So I'm going to go download. Come back to the Tiger Brokers page and click on Funds Remitted Inform Tiger to check. Then you have to tell them what currency you just deposited, how much you deposit and the bank account number it came from. And then we have to upload the confirmation we just downloaded from our bank. Then click on Submit Deposit Notification. And that's it. The notification is sent to them and we will wait for them to check everything. And it says it will take one to four business days, so I will log back in once I get a notification that the money is ready. This notification is usually done through text messaging. So I will get a text message from Tiger Brokers saying my money is ready. See you then. All right, so I got the notification, so let's sign back in. And I also made another deposit of 3,000 New Zealand dollars after a few days has passed to show you something. All right, as you can see, the money has clearly come through. Now let's start the tutorial off with the bottom right here and make our way throughout the whole platform. So the bottom right, this symbol basically means you have connection to the internet. And next to it is the time. You can click on the arrow button to see the time in these countries. So right now, every single country is on the 26th with America just past midnight. You can change the time if you want to or you can just click on this arrow to see the times in your selected countries. Next we have indexes and it keeps changing as you can see as I'm talking it keeps changing and it's showing the indexes in China, Hong Kong and US. If you wanted to stay in one index you can click this arrow, go to index, you can mess around with market settings or you can just click US and it'll stay there. Next you have which markets are open and which markets are closed. So US as you can see is not yet open and if you hover your mouse over it, it will show you a countdown. So in 3 hours and 6 minutes, it will open. Right now, the time in New Zealand is... Right now, the time in New Zealand is 4.53pm on the 26th. That means in Hong Kong, the time is 12.53. And unlike the US and the New Zealand stock market, Hong Kong and China closes for lunch breaks. And that's why, if you come back to the Tiger Brokers platform, it says noon closed. So that means they're on their lunch breaks. And if you hover your mouse over it, it has a countdown as well. So in six minutes, the markets will open back up. Same with the Chinese market. So until the market is open, let's have a chat about other things. The first thing you have to do once your money is deposited is to exchange it into your currency that you want to trade in. Right now it's showing 2.8k in New Zealand converted to the US dollar amount. But I haven't converted that. It's just showing me how much cash I have. So the first thing you have to do is come to the tabs on your left. So these tabs here, we'll go through them one by one. But let's start off with assets because that's the first thing you have to do. And it will take you to this page. It shows you the current asset, which is 2.8K in US. But if you go down, you see that there's zero US dollars cash in my account. This 8.2K is the 4,000 New Zealand dollars I have in my account. It's not yet converted. If you want to have a look at the history, you can click on here and you can see the first thousand that I deposited is here and then the 3,000 I deposited just to show you guys how much the currency moves. Let's close out of that. You also have a graph here to show you how much the money you had deposited is moving. 
And on the left, you can deposit and withdraw cash. I've already shown you the deposit. I will show you the withdrawal later. Okay, the first thing we had to do, as I said, we had to convert into the currency you want to trade in. So let's go exchange currency and this will pop up. And as you can see, we have zero US dollars to exchange into Hong Kong dollars. And that's because our money is still in New Zealand amount. So let's go and change that to US. Come and change this to New Zealand. And you can't sell at Hong Kong yet. You had to exchange it to American first. So let's say the amount I want to exchange is $2,000. That's the exchange rate. And I would roughly get $1,436. So go start exchange. There's a confirmation page, New Zealand to US, 2000, I would get 1436, commission $0. The New Zealand cash I will have left over is 2000, US cash I will have after the exchange is 1400. The amount is for reference only as the currency exchange rate can change just like a share price. And the currency exchange can take about a minute and they ask you please not to exchange anymore within this time period. So let's go over here and exchange our money. It will ask you for a password that you set up for your first trade. I have already said that, so I'm going to put that in. Exchange successful. You have successfully changed. Oh, it's gone. But it's here anyway. Exchange order submitted successfully. Understand? So now, as you can see, we have our money here. Our total assets should be the same, but it has gone down a bit because of the currency exchange. And let's go down to currency exchange. And now we can exchange our US dollars into Hong Kong dollars. And we can type in the maximum amount that we want to exchange, which is 1436. And it shows the exchange rate as well. And it'll show you how much Hong Kong dollars you're going to get. I'm happy with that. It gives you all the same tips again. Go start exchange. It gives you the same exchange order details. And I'm going to go exchange. And as you can see, you have successfully changed Hong Kong dollars. Understand? And now as you can see, our US cash has gone down, but our Hong Kong dollars has gone up. And now we can go trade in the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. And our asset amount should still be the same. Now let's go and buy some stocks. So let's go back to stocks. And now as I said in my last video that I will mention things that I don't like about Tiger Brokers and things I like about Tiger Brokers. And the first thing that I don't like about Tiger Brokers now this may be a deciding factor for most of you guys watching and that is the amount of money that you need to trade in the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. For example, the company that I really want to buy is Tencent. There we go. If you want to know why I really want to buy Tencent, I explained it in my previous video if you want to go and check that out. So now we have Tencent selected and when you want to buy the company, you come here and click on buy. You can buy limit orders but I normally buy market orders. Because I'm a long term investor, I don't really care about the small price changes throughout the day. Now for quantity, when you click on it, you see the minimum amount of shares that you have to buy. And that's because in the Hong Kong Stock Exchange, you have to buy in lots. And one lot is usually around 100 shares. Now this is the first limitation because this is not user friendly for people with small amount of money. As for me, I can't afford that yet either. Because right now, Tencent is trading around $635 per share. And I cannot afford a hundred of them. So I'm going to buy the second company which I talked about in my last video. And that is Cetic Limited. There we go. And I'm going to go buy a market again. And the minimum trading unit is a thousand for this company. So I'm just going to go one. Go buy. And since my order is a market order, it will give you this notification saying, please notice that the market order is an instruction to trade your order at any price available in the market. The price cannot be guaranteed in accordance with our obligation as a broker. Large market order may be split into smaller orders, which will be traded over time. The price might be variety. Um, that's bad grammar. If liquidity is poor, the deal might not be completed immediately. Please keep your attention. Okay, there's a few grammar mistakes in there. But if you want to pay an exact amount for your shares, then you can always choose to do a limit order instead and wait for a seller to sell at the price that you want. But like I said, I just want to get in when I can and wait for years. You can choose to trade however you want to trade. Okay, let's go continue with market order. You can click on don't remind me again if you don't want to see that again. Go continue. And then you have an order submit confirmation. So you can click on this arrow again to see more details. You see the commission fee, $28. Loanable asset after order. Again, you can click on do not remind me again. And I'm just going to go confirm. Order completed. There we go. We have just traded in the Hong Kong Stock Exchange from New Zealand. How cool is that?
So here we have a thousand shares. Commission was seventeen dollars in the end. Direction was buy. Quantity a thousand shares. Average price was seven dollars and ninety three cents in Hong Kong currency. Now you may have noticed if you have a keen eye is that this has popped up in our position. So this is in our portfolio now. And that's the next thing we're going to talk about. Everything you buy will show up in this box. And with any box, when you see the symbol, you can minimize it and it'll go away. And now you can focus more on the chart. But let's open this back up. We have the company name, symbol, the last traded price. And if you go to the right, the cost, which we traded at, so it has gone down already, the position. And if you can't read something, you can always change the size of the columns. The market value keep going down. And as you can see, there's a lot more stuff and I'm all in the red. Float PNL is the price difference between your average buying price and the company's current share price. The column next to it is the PNL percentage. PNL stands for profit and loss. And here it is showing as a percentage. So I am at a loss of 0.23%. Daily PL is your daily profit and loss. Right now, this position is 36% of my current asset. The rest is in cash. If you go to details, you can get a more easy to read detail. Go close. If you come to our total asset and hover over this question mark, it will show you the currencies. So in US, I have 2.8K. In Hong Kong, I have about 22,000. In Australian, I have about 3.6,000 and so on and so on. But without hovering over the question mark, it just shows your assets in US dollars. Okay, next let's move on to this part of the platform here. So this is your watch list. Having a watch list ready means you will be able to flick through different companies very quickly. And in the second tab, you have the recently viewed companies and you can easily click through that as well. So these are my recently viewed companies, Citic, Tencent, Apple, Tencent. Now you should be careful of which stock market you are placing orders in because you can access multiple stock markets at the same time with Tiger Brokers. See, I wanted Tencent in the Hong Kong Stock Exchange, but I nearly bought Tencent in the US Exchange. This is not a stock. It is a depository receipt. If you wanted that, then that is fine. But I wanted to buy the company myself. I also looked at Singapore Airlines, Alphabet, Adobe, Woolworths in Australia because they own Countdown in New Zealand. And I have also looked at a couple of ETFs and of course GameStop, which I stayed out of and missed out on the big gain, but it doesn't matter. So to curate a watch list, let's see if you want to add more companies to your watch list, just search for your company. Let's go Apple and then just click on this star and it'll add to your watch list. Let's try another one, 10 cent. Make sure it's in the right stock market. Add that one. Let's add another one. Google, add that. That should be enough to show you guys. So there's my watch list. Now I can easily flick through these companies and get all the share price information just like that. And you can also filter through the stock market. So if you only want to see US stocks, just click on US stocks. And as you can see, Alphabet and Apple shows up. If you only want to see Hong Kong stocks, click on Hong Kong. Then you have Tencent and Cedric that shows up. You can also create your own group. So click on this gear mark and then go to my list and create a new group. And that's if you want to go close. Now, once you have created your watch list, you can click on the next one down here, which is market. And it will show you all this information about the companies you have just put on your watch list. Now, there's a lot of information here and this video will be very long if I go through all of them. But by the looks of it, it looks like the only company that is going down is the company that I bought. Just my luck. And of course, you can screen through the markets. So these are the US companies in my watch list, Hong Kong companies on my watch list all and so on. You can also come up here and look for new companies. So you can click on Hong Kong since Hong Kong is trading right now. You can click on the biggest to highest. Oh sorry, that's the lowest to highest. This is the highest to lowest. So these are the companies that are seeing massive gains today. So if you click on it, or if you double click on it, it will take you to that stock and you can buy it if you want to. But if you want to figure out why this big gap is happening here, if I were to zoom in, there we go. If you want to know why this big gap is happening, you pretty much can find out everything you need to find out through the Tiger Brokers platform. And that's through these tabs here. I will explain that a little later. But let's go back to markets. And if you go to US, you will see similar things. The US market is not open yet, but it shows you the indexes and what they're currently doing. It also has the hot industry box here to figure out where investors are putting their money in. And you also have the percentage day change. So this company has gone up 59% on Friday, which is pretty good. You can also filter by sectors. So these are companies in copper, aluminium, 
semiconductor is probably a good investment right now or you can just go all and there we go very similar to hong kong one the next tab down is the news tab and if you want to have a read of any of this then you can just click on it you get the key points and just have a read it may give you some ideas on what company to invest in next i'm not really interested in those or if you're not interested in any of these other companies you can go to watch list and then you only have news that are related to the companies that we put down in the watch list so we have news from tencent 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 apple tencent oh that's interesting apple was sued for exaggerating the waterproof function in iphones caused a hot discussion that's interesting so if you want to have a look at that just click on it and there's your news i'm going to close out of this and the next tab down is the calendar now this is very interesting so this is the ipo section but if i go to invest in news it shows you what's scheduled for today so you have the report announcements today the ipo announcements today and the dividends announced today and you can also filter by the country so if i don't want to see china or hong kong and only us then just only have us selected here and if i'm not worried about report announcements and ipo just unclick them and then you have dividends here so these are the dividend registrations happening on today. So if you want to receive a dividend from these companies, it may be too late by now. So what I would do is I would go for the week. Today is Monday, so tomorrow, these are the dividends that are being registered tomorrow. So if you just hover over them, as you can see, AZZ, which is a funny name for a company, I would have picked something else. For the dividends, the registration is tomorrow. If I were you, I would just double check this in the company's website. But what I have found is that they're usually right. But keep in mind that if you buy into the company at the registration date, it's going to be too late for you to receive that dividend. The seller will receive the dividend on the dividend payment date. And the registration date is usually one business day after the ex-dividend date. And you can keep going down if you like. Registration, registration, Heineken, registration. The dividend payment date will show up here as well and then you can find that out by under status it'll say payment so you can keep on looking down go on to the next day and the next day and the next day and so on you have a calendar here as well so you can go day by day if you want to get a more detailed version then you can easily see which companies are having the registration days and which companies are having the dividend payment dates go on to the next day next day next day and so on awesome and then we have the asset tab which we already talked about so let's come back to the stocks i will sign out for now and i will come back on when the u.s market is open and we'll start trading in the u.s market and at that time i will go over these tabs a little bit more so to sign out of target brokers platform just close it and it will show you this pop-up and to sign out just have quit target trade selected and go okay see you soon okay guys so it's been about four days since i last logged on and it's six in the morning in new zealand which means it's about 2 p.m in new york and the stock market is about to close but if we go back to the target trading app you can see that the chinese market is closed for labor day the hong kong market is closed but the u.s market is trading and as you can see we have one hour and 35 minutes of trading time left so as promised i'm going to show you how to buy u.s stocks and it's a little bit different to the Hong Kong and Chinese stocks. And as you can see, I still have my indexes set to America and all the indexes are going down. So today is a bear market, but I'm a long term investor, so I don't really care that much. And for the stocks that we bought four days ago, you can have a look at them right here. So Citic was going down on the day we bought it. It went down after I bought it as well. But now it's up by 2% which is around $222. And since it's the only stock that I have in my portfolio right now, my overall portfolio is up 2% as well. But let's go add some more stocks to this portfolio. And the company that I wanna buy into today is Apple. So we come up here and type in Apple. Or you can click on all because we added to the watch list and you can see it's been a bad day for all the stock markets. But I'm looking about five years into the future, so I don't really care what the stocks are doing today. And as you can see, it's very live. It's very active. This is how much the price is moving every single second. As I'm talking, and you can see the bid and the ask price changing quite rapidly. If you want to just have a look at that, it's pretty cool. 
So the bid is basically the buying prices and the ask is what people are selling. So the selling price is $131.77 and the buying price is just one cent below it. And as you can see, as I was talking, it just changed. And this is how fast the US stock market is. For some people watching in New Zealand, this might be a bit too quick for them because the New Zealand stock market is not this, it's not that active. Anyways, if you come back up to the top, you see the volume of how many stocks have been traded today. The turnover, 9.9 .9 billion. Uh, we had the highest prices the stock was traded at, the stock price that it opened at today, and the lowest price the stock was trading at. And you can have a look at the current share price to get a glimpse of where it is at right now. So it's around the low price today. If you come down a bit, you have the volumes. So volume is how many stocks are traded. I don't really pay attention to all this that much, but you can use it to see where the stock price is heading. And you can also use the graph as well. Anyways, I'm happy to buy this. So I'm going to go buy. I'm going to buy at market price. And here's something that's different to trading Asian stocks in Tiger Brokers. You actually put the number of stocks that you want. And I forgot one thing. I need to change my US dollars. So I'm going to go to my assets. Go all the way down. I have 2000 New Zealand dollars. I'm going to exchange that to US dollars. New Zealand to US. You see the exchange rate and I want to change all of it. And I will get about 1400 US dollars and go start exchange. It'll give you a summary. Direction New Zealand dollars to US dollars. $2,000. Commission is zero. How much New Zealand dollars I have left after the exchange. And how much US dollars I will have after the exchange. Go exchange. Type in your password. There we go. Now we are ready to trade US stocks. Understand. Go back to stocks. And as you can see, buy on cash, I can buy 10. Now this is where trading US stocks is different to trading Chinese stocks or Hong Kong stocks in Tiger Brokers. So as you saw in the Hong Kong Stock Exchange, you buy stocks in lots. So one lot would equal about 100 shares. But in US stocks, you buy one whole stock. So for example, I can buy one, two or three stocks instead of buying one lot, which equals 100 shares. If I buy in limit, then it tells you the total amount. But if I go market, it won't tell you the amount because it doesn't know what price you're going to buy the stock at. So you could use limit order to get an idea of how much it'll cost. So if I'm buying it at $131.87, and if I buy, let's say, five stocks, it may cost me around $659. If I go seven, eight, nine, it'll cost me around $1,186. If I go 10 to figure out if you can afford it, you can have a look here, buy on cash, or you can have a look at how much cash you actually have. I also have some Hong Kong dollars left over. So I'm going to change that back into USD and buy a little bit of more Apple stocks. You can't copy and paste this amount. I want to exchange this whole amount, but I can't right click, copy and paste it into this. But here's a little trick. On your keyboard, you can just go 9999 and it'll just automatically type in the maximum amount. So it's just a little quicker way to exchange the full amount. And then go exchange. I will get about 406 US dollars. There's going to be $7 left over in Hong Kong dollars, which is annoying, but whatever. Start exchange. And that has been exchanged. So now when we go back to stocks, let me refresh this by minimizing and opening it. And as you can see, now we can buy 13 stocks for a price of $131.87. So I might buy 11 stocks or 12 stocks. But as I said, I'm going to go buy market price. So I'm going to buy 12 stocks, which should be around 1,500 US dollars. I'm going to go buy. You get this pop up again. Go continue. 12 shares. Open it up again. I'm not trading margins. 99 cents for the commission. And I'm just going to go confirm. And you have a little summary of the notification down here. And as you can see, it got added here. You can click on more details if you like. See how much you got it for. The average price was $132.05, which is what the stock is trading at right now. So let's close this. And now we have two stocks in our portfolio. And let's see how Apple is doing. Not surprised, it's already going down because the whole world is pretty much going down right now. But long-term investors don't really care about that too much. 
Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about is this box right here. This is where the chart is. I'm not going to talk too much about this chart because I'm making another video about how to read charts. But you can use this to draw all kinds of patterns that day traders love to imagine. But I'll start from up here. So this first little symbol is to minimize this part and make the chart bigger. So if I click on it and you can go to the right and do the same to minimize this part to your right. There we go. And now you can read the chart more easily. And you can use the wheel on your mouse to zoom in and out if you got one. That's if you're trading by using graph. So let me just bring that back. The next button is the refresh button. So you can just click on that to refresh the information. The next one is a bell icon. So you can set to get notifications if the price falls between something. Or you can get a notification for market alerts and indicator alerts. So you don't have to constantly keep looking at the graph. So if I go to market alert, these are the options you have. Day turnover, day volume, so on. If I go to indicator alert, you can click on what ad indicator you want. RSI is a popular one. If I click on that, you can select day, week or month. This will make sense once I make the chart video. Let's see what else we have. We have the price alert. Move up to, move down to, day up over, day down over. So if you go move up to, and if you put 132 frequency, once, once per day, every time. We'll just go once and click OK. And we can close that. So if the price goes up to 132, it'll give us a notification. So let's see if it happens while I'm recording this video. The next symbol is to change the chart mode. So we have a one chart mode, go four, nine, and so on. If I click on four, there we go. So this pulled up Apple, Google, and Tencent, which was on my watch list. And also the last one that we looked at, which was this one. And you can stay at this and do all your analysis if you want. But I'm going to close out of it. Go back to one chart. You can also have nine, which is insane. And then the next symbol is the star sign. Oh, there we go. Here's the notification. Latest price, 132. Move up to 132. So that's pretty cool. And I don't know if you heard it, but I have my headphones on. So it does give a notification sound as well. So anyways, let's keep going. Um, as I was saying, the next symbol is the star sign. And as you can see, my star is a solid yellow or golden color. And that's because it's on my watch list. Okay, the next tab down is probably my favorite thing about Tiger Brokers because you have your chart and then you have your filings tab. So if I click on it, you have all the notifications that the company has released. What I go to is financial statement and you have your company's financial statement just one click away. Well, few clicks away as you're about to see. So Apple has released a financial statement, a quarterly report on the 28th. So if I click on it, it'll bring you to this page. Click on the first one. There we go. There's the financial statement from Apple. So you can come down and have a look. If you want to know how to read an income statement, check out the video I did where I walk you through that. It should pop up on the top right hand side of your screen now. Or just wait till the end of the video to check out the channel. The one that I'm really interested in is net income. I explain why in that video. And the net income has been increasing year over year, which is what I like to see. Anyway, that was just a quick example of how this part works and what i like about it is that you can access the financial statements of companies just very easily just a few clicks away you don't need to go to google and type in apple financial statement and investor relations and find your way to the financial statement that way this is just one click away so if i want to see alphabet's financial statements just click on alphabet financial statement and there we go you can just click on them just one click away and it's that easy everything is just convenient and you can have a look at financial statements of multiple companies in a short period of time which is amazing so let me come back to apple because that's what we just bought you can also go to recruitment registration transaction related statements security report and reports from other events you also have options um, as i mentioned earlier i don't trade options it's just too risky and it's not my style of trading so i'm not going to spend too long on this tab and the next favorite tab is news. So you have all the news related to Apple in one easy to find tab. So here's all the news. You can just read the headlines. If it's too small, then like I said, you can make it bigger. 
market news deliver of apple's latest ipad pro will be delayed until july this might be causing apple stock price to go down the next news is about phones not really related to apple but sort of is then you have news about facebook apple amazon microsoft and alphabet so i'm going to make this smaller again and then you have post so you can look at what people are posting about apple i haven't really found this tab useful yet but maybe you can find a use for it the next tab is one of my favorite is funds so you have the capital flow today's capital and there's a huge number of small art flow of about 2.9 billion which is about 37 percent and these are the large orders in the last five days and as you can see there's a massive sell-off recently keep going down you have the current price the mean price the target low price so on if we keep coming down these aren't my favorite parts keep coming down and if you keep it on the tab and click on something else it stays on that tab so this is the capital flow of google it has more of a small art flow large orders and so on and go to tencent have your capital flow as well and so on so it's really easy so everything is just quick and easy materials is another favorite tab which opens a whole lot of other stuff so this is another really good thing about tiger brokers so if you don't know what a company is you can have a read of the summary here it also has a link to the official website and on the tab below the summary is the financials now this is amazing so you know how i said you can have a look at the financial statements well you don't even have to leave tiger brokers to do that because it's right here everything is just in one convenient place and if i click on apple it shows the financial statement for that so that's why it's useful to have companies in the watch list so you can just have one click and see all the financial statements come back to apple so this is the net income you can change it to total revenue operation income but i like to see it in net income so the first tab is the financial overview so very quickly you can have a look at the total asset the total liabilities debt ratio the cash flow financial analysis so amazing and the fact that you can click through so many different companies and have a look at them in a matter of seconds is just completely mind-blowing to me and if you want more details you can go to income statements and you have pretty much what i showed you a few seconds ago you can go to quarterlies so then you have quarters you can go annually then you have the figures from annual statements and if you click here to display ear over ear it shows you the percentage change so if i go to net income again net income has gone up three percent it was down seven percent last year but the year before that it was up 23 percent and again you can click through stuff just like that it's so easy to compare companies alphabet has just been going up year over year pretty much every year come back to apple you can do the same for balance sheet cash flow statements financial analysis so much more i want to keep moving on because i want to keep this video short as possible even though there's a lot to discuss the next tab is the segments and that device by business and by region and you can do the same to pretty much any company so as you can see apple is very diverse and then the next tab is shareholder so it tells you who the major shareholders are and as you can see just over 50 percent is owned by institutional investors and about 44 percent is owned by the public and five percent is owned by other listed companies and 0.06 percent is individuals slash insiders in this graph you can see that the institutional investors are going down a bit while public investors are gaining more control over it if we come down you basically can see who owns what keep coming down you can see that vanguard blackrock berkshire hathaway are one of the top owners of apple let's keep moving on next tab is valuation that's going to show a whole bunch of graph and to be honest with you i don't really use these probably mainly because i don't really understand it you also have diagnostic now this graph shows you the profitability so for growth capability people aren't that optimistic anymore cash capability is quite high solvency which i will mention what that is later in a video and operating capability so if i go to apple it's kind of a similar picture 10 cent Tencent has high growth capability and as you can tell why that is from our last video Citic operation and solvency isn't looking that good let's come back to Apple and go to dividends 
and you can have a look at their dividend history. And you can have a look at how much to change before and after dividends. So if you hover your mouse over it, before the dividends, the highest percentage change within the 10 days was 4.33%. After the dividends, the highest percentage was 0.7% and you can keep on looking down to see if there's a pattern. Come down, you have your dividend comparison, how much each company has paid in dividends in the last 10 years. I don't really use this, I'm not a dividend investor, but for some of you, it might be useful. If I come back up to the top and click on a company that doesn't pay dividends, for example, Alphabet, you have no information. Come back to Apple. The last one is short, so again, I don't do option trading, so this is not very relevant for me. I'm going to close all of this. So there you go. Now you have enough information to use Tiger Brokers however you like. I didn't go into fine details of the app because I'm sure once you start using it, you will find your own personal style and you will use Tiger Brokers the way it fits you. If you're going to sign up to Tiger Brokers, please do use the referral link in the description. If you use that link, Tiger Brokers will give a little bit of money my way and I will donate all of that money to a charity. So it doesn't cost you anything. I'm basically taking money from Tiger Brokers and giving it to a charity. And you know that I'm donating to charity unlike other YouTubers because I make actual videos to show you that I'm doing it. So please do keep using my referral links because they do go to a good cause. Thanks everyone for watching and helping my channel grow. See you in the next videos.